When you order a pizza, you pick your toppings. Just like when you vote, you pick who represents you. But what if politicians could handpick voters to rig the election in their favor? It's called gerrymandering, and it's so rampant that in 86% of elections for the U.S. House, voters have virtually no voice in the election at all. Imagine this pizza is a state that gets four representatives in the U.S. House. It has an equal amount of people that support pepperoni and olives. If the whole state voted, you get two pepperoni reps and two olive reps in the U.S. House. But usually that's not how it works. With gerrymandering, politicians can pick who's in power before the election even starts. For example, if the Olive Party was in charge of drawing the districts, they could make it so all of the pepperoni voters are packed into one district. Now the Olives get three or four districts, even though they only won half the vote. That's some greasy pizza. Or, if they're hell-bent on protecting their party's interests, they could split up the pepperonis carefully, despite representing half the population. Arrivederci, pepperoni lovers. These days, shady politicians aren't just drawing districts on the back of a napkin. Using advanced technology and the latest voting data, they can slice districts block by block with precision to rig the districts long before you head to the polls. Oh yeah, and the districts end up looking like Maryland's 3rd District, Louisiana's 2nd District, and Texas's 4th District. Bon appetito! Today, we're in a once-in-a-decade moment. Politicians across the country are drawing the new district lines, determined to erase your voice for the next 10 years while insulating themselves. But you can act now. Call your legislator or learn more at represent.us. Tell them Manny's cousins, nephews, uncles, brother Jerry sent you.